joined by Hofstra coach John Russo following Hofstra's 12-3 win over Manhattan. Coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Seven in a row now. Uh, just your overall thoughts on the game today. You know, I'm happy that we uh, continued to play well today. You know, we could have had a, a day off or, you know, a, you know, just a nothing performance. And early on, uh, you know, I think everything gets dictated on the mound. I thought Jared came out ready to go and uh, took a little while for our bats to get heated up, but they did. And, uh, you know, real happy with uh, Chris Harkey's performance coming in after Jared got hurt. As you mentioned, Jared took a line drive off the off the knee. He toughed it out, finished the inning, started the next inning. Uh, I did see him after the game. He was limping pretty pretty badly. What was that? You know, he's a senior who um, you know he's relishing every chance to get a, every chance to pitch right now, every start, everything. And um, you know, he's a really tough kid, and he's you know taking the ball every time he's had it in four years. And um, there was no way he was wanting to come out, and you know I finally took him out in the middle inning when he had to go cover first. It, it, he reactivated it, and um, you know I thought Harkey came in and did real nice. But you know Jared should be fine. It's just a bone bruise. Uh, everything was structurally all right. We'll have it checked out tomorrow, but he should be able to come back next week. And you mentioned Chris Harkey comes in, gives you four and a third innings, only those are two hits, two strikeouts, no walks, no runs. Uh, his longest outing of the, of the year. What? what what did, what did he have working today? You know, he's he's real super competitive. He has three pitches in play. He's able to pitch in with his fastball. Um, you know, his breaking ball and change any time in the count. Uh, he's thrown really well up until this. This was a big test for him today. We, uh, you know, we knew we were going to bring him in after Jared was done. We weren't sure if he's going to go two or three innings, but we really kind of used it as an audition for uh, the Sunday start. And you know, I think Harkey, after today's performance, has earned uh, the chance to start on Sunday versus Northeastern. Now the offense. Obviously put up 12 runs today, 17 hits in the top of the order. Gets uh, six hits from the first three batters. Jared Hammer has a big day, four RBIs. So things have really been clicking on this during this winning streak after a, after a slow start. How do you think the team's been able to keep it up? Well, you know, uh, I think they've taken advantage of being outside. Yesterday early the weather was nice and, you know, it was a day off for us. But I, I think we had every player in attendance to hit. Uh, you know, the coaches weren't out there. The guys just took it upon themselves to keep swinging the bat. And we were able to get a good week of practice in last week, three days of getting outside and swinging the bats. And, you know, hitting's contagious. And um, once one guy gets going, you know, the rest seem to follow along. And um, it's really nice to have Taylor and uh, Rob Cafiero at the top of the order. They've been getting a bunch of hits. And, you know, that's what Hammer was used to last year was having guys in front of him to drive in runs. And um, now that we're doing that, Hammer's getting back to who he is. And, and driving in big runs and um, everything's starting to click. All right, chance for uh, to continue the win streak tomorrow against New York Tech. Uh, seven game win streak matches the longest from last season. So what uh, what do you need to do tomorrow to get the get to number eight? You know we need Sarah to, to come out in his uh, first college start and, and pitch well. You know he needs to, to keep it close early and uh, you know I know we have a few guys that we can go to in the bullpen and you know we need to keep playing good defense and. Uh, you know, and get some runs along the way. You know, everything off of us is going to be dictated off of pitching and defense. It's the, the one thing I can think you can control coming into the field. And, you know, hopefully we can keep swinging the bats the way we have. But, um, you know, everything will be off the starter, Greg, and then, you know, uh, the pitchers after that. All right. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations Thanks. on the win. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.